My business is in auto detailing. We polish, shine, and make cars look good. Each automobile is different. It's uh, a different challenge. That's why I'm still at it. <laughs> if it wasn't a challenge and uh, fun, I'd, I'd have left it a long time ago. My name's John Casper. My cancer treatment was at the Southwestern Vermont Medical Center. This is a tight-knit community. These are our friends and our family, and they have to come first. With the Dartmouth affiliation and with what SVMC already has in the Regional Cancer Center, you now have the ability to take that comfort and add the things that you would want from a tertiary cancer center. And, and that combination is, is what's wonderful. John came in to see me for the first time, as, as most patients do, you know, incredibly anxious. You're walking into a cancer center. You, you have really no idea at that point what to expect. I remember the first meeting very clearly. Uh, Dr. Howard sat us down, my wife and I, and uh, explained what was going to have to happen. The very first words out of my wife's mouth were, do you think we ought to go to church and pray? <laughs> so for, for good or ill, John had um, so much treatment between the chemo side and the radiation side that he got to meet just about the entire team um, and really saw in a, in a pretty unique way how the whole team interacts with each other. Having Dartmouth at our backs is a huge advantage as well. I get all the benefits of having a big academic cutting-edge institution um, at the same time that I get the, the close-knit, uh, tight community feel that we have at SVMC. Without the support of the nurses and the doctors at the cancer center, it would have been virtually impossible. Even when I was down and out, these people treated me with respect. These people fought to keep me alive. They don't want you to give up. They're not there to see you die. They're there to beat this crap. And If you give them the chance, they'll do it. He was coming back into the cancer center daily at times to get a liter of fluid so that he could stay hydrated through this. And he kept looking at me and saying, and you do promise this is gonna end, right? And I would say, yes, this is gonna end, and here's where it's gonna end. He was a champ through the whole thing, of course. He never um, became sort of discouraged. Dr. Vernon and Dr. Howard will make sure in the team up there and make sure to call me, John, everything's going cool. So, when I got this news, I actually cried a little bit, which I, which I do a lot. <laughs> uh, but, as of a week ago, I am clean. And uh, they're saying it looks pretty good. <laughs>